Hi everyone, I'm Michael Hall, CEO of Microclimate. Today I'd like to share with you some recent results that we got back about filters. Now with, within the lab, we do flow testing and particulate testing, but before we publish or, or talk much about things, we, we've been using third-party labs. So we've been going to Nelson Labs in Salt Lake City. Thank you, they've been, they've been a great partner. And uh, we recently got results back for our filter media that we're using in the microclimate air. Um, it's 97% effective at, uh, at blocking out 0.3 micron um, particles. Now, that said, that's the short answer. Um, there's a caveat here. It's the NIOSH test is different than our mask and, and what we're doing. And here's how it's different. The, the NIOSH test, um, the machine has a, a, about a five inch by five inch um, sample size. And, and, uh, and that area approximates roughly what a typical respirator would, would have. And the flow rate uh, of, of the particles that they're putting through the mask um, approximates what a human would be breathing. For um, air by microclimate, we have a different flow rate in a different area, right? And, um, and the reason this matters is that the way these filters work, there's three different uh, mechanisms by which they, they filter out the particles. But one of the main ones is just the labyrinth that they put in. So as particles that are suspended in the air go through the media, they run into things. And as they run into things, they'll slow down and will fall out of, uh, of, of the air. And so if you go to a higher flow, um, it will decrease the performance. Now, the good news here for microclimate air is uh, although our flow is higher, to keep this comfortable, we're at about double the flow is what the NIOSH test um, uses for those respirators. Um, our area in our pleated filters, um, we have six times the area on our inlet is, is what that, that test would have. So um, we actually believe that our... our uh, you know, people ask us about this. We're not trying to be evasive um, uh, about, you know, what our performance is. It's just, it doesn't fit the, the test that's out there right well, but right, right now. But the good news is we actually believe that the actual performance of our test is, is quite a bit higher than, uh, than what even the, the uh, official, you know, NIOSH standard test would say.